Looks like he was snubbed big time by Beatrice. This is very, very important for all of us to understand why we are talking about this particular issue. Very important for us to understand this relationship and also how this will play out when Megan will see Harry again, if she does, as we all talk about their divorce. But if she does see Harry in their residence, how she will react after she would see Beatrice did what she did. She will go crazy. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Let's take a look. Here you have Beatrice and you have Prince Harry standing far away from each other. Beatrice, in fact, she is putting her head down for whatever reason it is. But what we have noticed from the very beginning of this event when they were coming for the coronation, we have seen them not talking. Beatrice not looking at Harry whatsoever. Her husband, Eduardo, did not look at him either. Why it is important? Let's uh, talk about that. But before we do that, just want to play the video a little bit so that you can see what is happening here. Again, Beatrice and her husband not communicating with Harry at all. Now, this is the husband, Eduardo. And they're not looking at him, Beatrice, especially for herself. She is not looking at Harry, not trying to communicate, make eye contact at all. And then you have this um, van coming. Now, you see that uh, there is a clear contrast. Here you see Eugenie, the spy. When I call her a spy, we have uh, seen Eugenie and there are actually multiple reports saying that she is selling information <laughs> or sharing information with Meghan Markle. And this is why we see her cozying up to Harry one more time. Let's take a look. So they are having this conversation. Uh, just wait for Beatrice. Okay, just wait for her again one more time. And Harry is obviously pretending <laughs> everything was normal, nothing went wrong, everything it was in fact a you know a mission accomplished visit. <laughs> uh, and because we know he was in the UK for only a few hours, and then he's uh, yeah, mission accomplished, he's talking and uh, chit chatting with Eugenie, the spy. And all the while, we do not see Beatrice trying to communicate with him whatsoever, not in the least. Uh, is it because of the memoir? I don't doubt it at all. Yes, it is, of course, because of the memoir. It is, of course, of what he said to the royal family members, especially the king, Prince William. So Beatrice is keeping her distance. Good job. Now, Eugenie kept on communicating with him and again Beatrice nowhere to be seen the last one you saw here uh, she managed to barely look on her left side where Harry was and that's about it guys that's about a little bit and that's about it okay there's no more to it now if you do not remember what happened in 2019 let me remind you of that because again, this is crucial for us to understand this whole relationship dynamic, uh, how it will play out when Harry, were, uh, sorry, when Megan will see this. So back in 2019, what happened is that normally when the British monarchy they will invite people for the Christmas for the festival, they would not invite people who are not married to the family, who is not related. At that time, they were not married, Beatrice and her husband. What Megan did, she did a huge favor, huge favor, quote unquote. She doesn't do any favor to anybody, but quote unquote, her, her, her fan base, the success, Sussex squad, they claimed, yeah, look at Megan, how nice she is. Well, we know why she was nice, and I'll explain to you how she was nice. They said this to pr improve her image, to tell the whole world, yeah, Megan, she has a f you know, heart, she has feelings for other people. So what she did is, historically, let's talk about this historically, historically invites to join the family's Christmas celebrations are limited to members. So you are not invited if you're not a member of the royal family, of the firm or married partners. Okay, you have to be member or married partners in a break from tradition, Princess Beatrice's partner, at that time he was a partner, Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi, was allowed to spend time 
on their Norfolk estate back in 2019 despite not officially being part of the family. In touching photos, Meghan and Harry joined Prince William and Princess Kate as they made their way to the Christmas Day service at St. Mary Magdalene Church. Okay, here you see Princess Beatrice and Eduardo welcomed daughter Sienna in 2021 and you can see from the report here how they were talking about Meghan breaking the tradition and inviting Eduardo for the party and fast forward to a couple of just couple of years now I don't think it is even a matter of few years it's just a matter of him writing this book trashing his family Beatrice she now realized that you know what this guy is a complete nonsense and his wife so she is not looking at him even though we still want to maintain that she still has good relationship with Meghan Markle but think about this the, the person, Megan, Duchess of Sausages, who broke the tradition of the royal family to invite her husband. Now she is not even looking at Megan's husband at all. I found this to be very, very strange, but this was obvious after what he did. A lot of people that snubbed him, I mean, at least on camera, they did not want to associate themselves with him whatsoever. Now let's take a look at this other video, the most profound and powerful moment of the coronation to me and that moment is this moment when he was giving homage to the king prince william he is going to be the future king absolutely powerful very very deep and it speaks volume to the person william who he is absolutely powerful now this is what I want to also share with you because this is something I found to be very very strange. It reminds me something happened in the past. If you re if you remember what happened, Megan's wedding, uh, she was um, very very rude with this little kid. That time she was way younger than now. And then when I saw this picture, look at this guy. Okay, he is staring at her. I mean, obviously. He is, you know, very close to her, and I think I, I'm pretty sure that they, you know, they have no problem personal. They don't have any personal issues. However, because of what Meghan did to Charlotte, Princess Charlotte, right here, I think what Harry was thinking <laughs> when he was looking at her, staring at her, he was like, "You made my wife cry. I'm gonna come and get ya." Right? That kind of look. This is what the look is all about to me. <laughs> this is crazy, but. You don't stare at a kid like that, but Harry did that. And this is something I also wanted to throw out there to see what you guys think. Let me know. Was he thinking of a revenge? Something, uh, I'm not uh, liking this little kid. What was going on in his head? I do not know. Can you share with me? Let me know. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.